I've never looked on myself uh, as really being overtly ambitious until I was kind of approached by graduates to be the Chancellor of Cambridge University. I mean, <clears throat> it's astonishing. I'm astonished. I'm still in a state of shock. I'm a coal miner's son. I, my dad just passed away a short while ago, 98 years of age. You'd have been astonished. All my friends in Yorkshire, I was a secondary school boy in a C class. And I used to dream. I, with Patrick Stewart, my friend at the time, a bit younger than me, Patrick, we both used to dream. I used to dream of, of, of going to university. I was, my father was injured in the coal mines. And, and at the age of 14, I was in the secondary school. I was school captain. I was the best at English and drama and everything. <clears throat> there was a chance I might go to grammar school and go to a technical college. And at 14, I had to leave school and look after my family and work as an undertaker's assistant and a plasterer. And I'd do my schooling at night. And, oh, I had to dream of going to university. Uh, and for me, Cambridge was a creme de la creme. Cambridge for me is null I secundi, second to none. This is a place, Cambridge, the university, uh, you know, which is full of light, enlightenment, and knowledge. That's its reputation. That's really its motto. And over the years, I've met people like uh, Jacoby, Derek Jacoby, who did I, Claudius together, we were at Birmingham Rep together. And there he was, I think it was Marlowe Society he was with, and Clive Swift I met, another actor, and so forth. And they'd all tell me about Cambridge. I used to go there like an adventurer. I, I, I'd go and, and steal around all the courts and King's College. Magnificent! Hey, what about that? What about King's College, the sight of it? That whole frontage. Unbelievable. And I'd, I'd get punts and go down the, the, the kind of river and, and, and the mathematical bridge. <laughs> I collided with it and took a header into the river. And everyone helped me. And, and, and all, the, all the students laughed and, and so forth. I, they got to know me as a madman who went punting down the river. I'd love to help people. Because the reason why I'd love to help people in a similar situation to what I was when I was a child, who go to comprehensive, go to this and go to secondary schools, etc., and are slightly behind the eight ball at times, but they have such gifts that sometimes they feel so lonely. I firmly believe, I firmly believe, there is no one like you. There's no one like you. Nature doesn't cheat. We've all got something that nobody else has got. Nature doesn't cheat. You, you've got to bring it out. That dream in you, those gifts. You've got, to, you, you've got to bring out your own dreams. I want to bring that out in comprehensives and secondary schools. So they can go to Cambridge. They can do it. Anybody can. There's nothing in this world you can't achieve if you set your mind on it. And I feel that that I can assist with and help with humour and drive and soul and appreciation. And we need it. There's too much doom and gloom. No, 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 no. We're going to make it. Mankind's going to make it. But we must never forget the comprehensives, secondary schools, all the different people, helping people who feel lonely and bewildered. You know, you've got to go for it. And don't let the bastards grind you down. It's not wearing gowns and cloaks and so forth. It's about action. So I want to... I don't mean raging and jumping up and down all the time. I love silence. But I think that the Chancellor should be a pretty energetic guy with huge vision a love of life and a love of people and a deep appreciation of education. He must sweat blood to help people who are underprivileged. He must sweat blood. 
That's why I want to be chancellor.